what's going on YouTube okay so everybody's gonna be like oh my god he's not dead no I'm not dead I know I haven't posted a video in a long time I think I'm eager it sound like a duck no I haven't posted a video in a while I'm not gonna try to BS y'all on some long sob story why I haven't been posting but long story short I sold white trash man y'all know that that was just a struggle trying to get something new through that process and all that it hurt me to sell it and whatnot and on top of all that youtube started copywriting me hard so i was like banned for a couple of days i got all these emails from these big corporate companies telling me like oh if you get copyrighted again we're kicking off youtube yeah 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 because i was playing music in my mud run videos so long story short we're not gonna be able to play music anymore in our videos but the opener to this video hopefully that wasn't enough to copyright me for but as far as when we're actually mud riding we're not gonna be able to listen to music and things like that so that's gonna blow but you know we'll make it work i'll make it work for y'all i promise and i've been fighting this cold and stuff i'm sorry but if i sound like trash but anyhow as you've seen from the opener we finally got our hands on the new build so without further ado without me trying to go off into some long story one let's go ahead and get straight into that i'll go over all the details explain to y'all we'll make this video short and sweet because i got a lot of work to go do to it still and it's about to absolutely storm out here but i figured I promised y'all I'd make a video on the new bike and all that, so let's go ahead and get straight into that, and I'll give y'all what you wanted. So I was trying to find a spot to set the phone up on, to prop it up on, to video me, because, you know, my white trash used to always do that because I move too much if I hold the phone and video and stuff, and it's just like doing this the whole time. But anyhow, as you see from the opener, we finally got our hands on, yes, 2020 Honda Pioneer 500. And I've had it for four, four or five days now, and I'm gonna give y'all my overall opinion on it after the since four or five days I've had it, but so far I am in love with it. 2020 Honda Pioneer 500. Uh, you got your DC manual on it, so you can go paddle shifters, automatic transmission. Hate the automatic transmission. I would never use that in my life. 425 cc, so that's 30 horsepower, 30 horsepower little bike. Weight base on it actually ain't much more than the 520 Rubicons. Like I can legit pick the front of this thing up and just drag it up the hill if i want to it's pretty cool but uh overall first four days of having it i have my pros and my cons overall pros love it to death the first irs i've ever owned in my life i know i used to talk a lot of trash on irs just because i'm not a big fan on them, but you can't really get a pioneer in a straight axle unless i'm the first guy to ever straight axle swap a pioneer which i would go down in history dual straight axles front and back that would be sick but irs it's actually not that bad only thing that scares me about it is the axles on it stuff like that and it's just a lot more things you gotta worry about overall but it's really not terrible the diff offset on these two like the front diff offset on the pioneers i don't like at all really let's see if i can get in there and show it i don't know if you can see but length of that axle versus that axle it's like six inches longer in this one just because your front chunk offset so i'm determined to see how that's going to go as far as in the holes and stuff i can't remember if this is your positive side or not i think this is honda's positive doesn't have a torque locker, doesn't have a diff lock or anything. Doesn't have a torque locker yet. But that's what really kills you. I mean, if you know Honda's on 420s, you can like hold front brake, it's gonna kick your diff lock and stuff like that. It's not a true diff lock, but it does help out some. Rubicons, 500 stuff, you have diff lock on them. But this one, you ain't got nothing. You have to get a torque locker and install it and all that stuff. So that's gonna have to come soon, no doubt about it. But uh, rear diff on these things, and as far as the rear chunk and stuff goes, it doesn't look bad. It's got a pretty beefy chunk on it. I don't really like your split you got right there. I was noticing that the other day. Not a huge fan of that. But we're definitely going to get rid of the stock Honda axles. We'll probably go Demon all around on so Demon axles and whatnot. It's not terrible for my first IRS, like I said. And yeah, I've had it for four days and we already snorkeled it. So, I mean, that that's a new record. We made it four days without a snorkel. So, we did that last night. I haven't tested it yet. I did a bubble test on it. I don't have the resource to do a smoke test. But I did do bubble tests and it looked good. So now we just got to find a pond to drop it off in. I would drop it off in the gravel pit here, but it's like 20 foot deep. And I don't think my snorkel is quite tall enough for that. But open Arizona, I can't remember what day Arizona opens up. I want to say it's like February. We're sending this baby through Party Pond. So you better be there. If you want to see it in action, open Arizona, we will be hitting Party Pond. First rod we're actually going to make on is Tower Trash for New Year's. So I hate that place with a passion. That's why we call it Tower Trash. But a lot of my boys are going out there for New Year's and I want to make a ride on. Everybody wants to see it and stuff. So 
we're gonna see how it goes and i'm not running the assassinators at tower trash they're 29 five assassinators on i think it's outlander wheels which got adapters on it they're actually not mine i'm just borrowing from a buddy of mine for now because i wanted to take it through some mud and see how it does and dude surprisingly first gear four wheel drive it spun them pretty good second gear it was actually doing fairly decent when if you know anything about assassinators you know how heavy they are uh if ft mike is watching this you'll know how heavy they are i mean you ran your what 32s on a 35 percent reduction for a while and you see how much they bog the 29.5s they're pretty heavy too i'm running them on a stock motor and for 30 horsepower five i mean 30 horsepower did i say 575 5, 5 cc it actually kicks them fairly decent but i think we're just gonna get some 30 inch bkts and run them for a while until you know all the big boy stuff gets on it but i'll go ahead and get the camera off me and kind of give y'all a rundown of it uh if you know pioneers they come with the little screen nets right here i took that off that's the stupidest thing ever like this thing it's not a derby truck okay we're not doing 80 miles now you're lucky if you hit 20 in this thing so took the screens off because it looks stupid cut the seat belts and the stupid thing is you have to have the seat belts in here or it's gonna flash seat belt code at you the whole time so i cut the seat belts off stuck the buckles in i'm sure there's a way you can bypass the uh, seat belt code so we're gonna try to figure that out Little doors. I know a lot of people take the doors off. I just kind of left them on for now. It does kind of help with mud somewhat. I'm hoping eventually somebody's going to make a full razor door for it or I'll have to fab something on myself. I have a windshield for it. Have you seen the pictures on my Instagram or Snapchat? If you actually care about my personal life and just not my YouTube and you've seen that, I have a full shield for it. I actually took it off. I threw some 5% tint on it. Biggest mistake of my life. 5% tint on the shield is not a good idea. So I'm actually ripping that off. We're going to throw like 20 on it or 35 on it uh like i say yeah 29 five assassinators spins them fairly good yes these are gone they're getting out of here i'm in the process of building headlights right now for it if y'all know my signature thing has always been my headlights everybody knows me for the headlights so in the process of building headlights right now light bar on the roof is coming off that looks so gay we're gonna do the headlights put a uh, bar in the grill probably stuff it up in here somewhere I want to get a strong made bumper for it with a winch. Hate these stock bumpers. I love the way the strong maids look on it. But yeah, that's pretty much the majority of it. It's fairly simple for now. But like I said, we will be doing a lot of building and mods and stuff too in the near future. It's definitely going to be, it's going to be a bad little do whenever I'm done with it. But it just takes time. You got to trust the process and all that. I'm not going to go bankrupt over trying to build this thing. So I'll keep it fairly simple for now. Hopefully today or tomorrow, some I'll be able to go pick up some 30 inch BKTs. Get these assassinators off i just don't like the feeling of them on the stock motor as far as clutches axles and all that stuff go stock axles stock clutches no gear reduction so hopefully we'll get them off pretty soon uh overall though i love it to death dude the only thing like i said the only cons i have about it was the seat belt code and that touch already how it throws a seat belt code. i don't know if you have, if you don't have seat belts buckled in it throws the codes so i'm looking for a way to bypass that uh that and the the dc transmission dude the automatic transmission i hate it with a passion oh and I'll have to show you when I'm dropping it back to my least favorite thing about the whole Pioneer is if you're in manual transmission, you're shifting through your paddles manually. If you just let off the gas, it automatically downshifts for you. Even if you're in manual mode, it automatically downshifts every time. I hate that with a passion. And it's just, I'll have to show you when I'm driving it, like I said, for you to get a feel for it, but it's the stupidest thing I've ever witnessed in my life. I don't like it at all. If you have a Pioneer, you probably know about it. If there's a way you know to bypass that, please let me know. I've hit up some of the big name guys that I know and I talk to a lot and they even said there's really no way to bypass that. So if you have a way to bypass it, please let me know because I hate it with a passion, dude. But uh, as far as that goes, that's probably about it for this video. Like I said, I just wanted to keep it simple and sweet. Uh, Tower trash, New Year's Eve. I'll make a video of that, I promise, and kind of get y'all a little feel for what it's like. Uh, Open Arizona will be our next big rod in january probably whenever they open back up so make sure you're out there if you want to see this thing in action come say hi i'll take you through party pond and whatever you want to do but it's gonna be a fun time so with that being said let's go and hop in it i'll just kind of give y'all the rundown of driving it show you all the automatic shift down that i can't stand all stuff show you going through the paddles we'll take it back to the house before this rain hits us because it's about to get ugly but once again guys i'm sorry i ain't been making videos as much i promise i'm about to get back on i just have to really watch my music stuff because i can't get copyright if i get copyright again i'm about to go make a whole new account there i have to try to find me get all my followers back stuff but if you want to see the process of this build i'm gonna do a lot of how to's and upgrade videos on here and stuff but if you really want to see the pictures of it and the process of it go follow my instagram underscore bradley wesley underscore uh follow my tiktok you know i know 
a lot of y'all do, but I post a lot of videos on my TikTok about it and stuff. I think that's the same as my Instagram username, underscore Bradley Wesley, underscore. Like and subscribe, please. Tell all your buddies, come watch it. Tell them they better, yeah, tell your buddies they better subscribe because we're about to be fully sending this thing. If you want to see Pioneers in action, that's another thing too. If you go on YouTube and you look up high a Pioneer 500 stuff, you don't see many mud and videos of them. Now you have, what's his name, Appalachian Trail Rider. He posts a lot of good how-to videos. If you need to work on it or figure something out, go look him up. I believe it's Appalachian Trail Riders. He does a hell of a good job on reviews and upgrades and stuff on the Pioneer 500, but I'm trying to bring the Pioneer 500 mudding and going deep to YouTube. There's not many people, very rarely you see videos of people going absolutely deep or just send their Pioneers to the roof on YouTube and stuff. You'll see that, you know, gator hole at hog water stuff every now and then, but I'm about to be the guy to truly introduce this to YouTube. So without that, well, with that being said, let's go hop in it, take it back to the camp because it looks like about the storm here and I'll show you all the driving scenarios of it. Yeah, I say, I don't really like the doors. Like I kind of want to take them off, but then again, like I said, it kind of keeps mud off of you. There's really no purpose in them though. As far as room wise and these things too, I mean, I'm like six foot, six one. And it's really not terrible on driver's side. If you got somebody over 6'3", I don't think they're going to fit in here too good. Fires up like a prince. Parking brake. It has a parking brake, too. I do like that. That's pretty nifty. But, uh, fairly simple. Gas, brake, four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive. That's your automatic transmission, manual transmission. Uh, headlight switch up here, light bar, or whatnot, but... Paddles, we're in manual now. Got that paddle shift up. First, second. Oh, she's not gonna let me shift into third until I get going, of course. You can't take off from a high gear. That is another thing I figured out. You have to be moving, then shift. Oh, and there it went. That was, if you heard that, that was the automatic downshift. I was trying to go up a hill in third gear just now didn't like it automatic downshifted i hate the way it sounds it just makes me cringed all high heavens and back well, i mean yeah all right let me go ahead and cut this and turn the camera sideways so you can see a little bit all right i had to swap hands with it too it was awkward trying to drive hold the camera It's not the smoothest riding thing in the world either. I mean, if you know anything about Hondas, Hondas are not smooth to begin with. So this thing definitely ain't the smoothest. I don't have power steering yet either. So that kind of kills me. But when you're rolling, it's honestly not too terrible. But in the future, whenever I go like big tires, 37s or whatnot, I'm definitely gonna have to get the power steering because it's just, it's not gonna be possible to turn this thing without the power steering in the biggest tires. As far as top speed goes too, I've never really opened this thing up just because, I mean, it's a Honda. There's no point trying to open it up. You might get lucky and hit 30 miles an hour, so I'm not even that concerned about that. All right, let's grab fifth gear and I'll show you all the automatic down shift. We're in fifth gear now. All right, off of everything. Downshift fourth, third, second. Hate that with a passion, dude. Like, okay, I'll just show you all the automatic transmission too. That's your downshift automatic. Grab drive. You're in drive now. Now you just drive. No shift. I'll keep my hand right here. Second. Third. Fourth. That might even fifth. Anyhow, you hear a high of RPMs like the automatic. I don't like how high it shifts at. It's, it's like almost revved out before it shifts in the AT mode. I don't like that at all. That's why I'll just never use the automatic. And the shift points, you can be in a bond and they don't care. Your shift points are terrible on the AT mode. So as far as that goes, we're definitely gonna keep it MT the whole time, especially in mud. Only time I might use AT is if I'm on stock tires or like just trail riding or road riding or cruising somewhere like that. Grab fifth, I'll show you all the automatic downshift one more time. All right, hands off paddles, fifth, fourth, third, 
second. Hate that with a passion. But anyhow, guys, that's the majority of it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get back. And I'm gonna start editing up this video and whatnot. I'm just gonna kind of, I want to keep it short and sweet for this go round. Actually, I'm gonna run to the Dollar Journal first to give me some breakfast. But uh, for the most part, yeah, that's it. That's pretty much all there is to explain about for now. Next video is gonna be us at Tower Trash. Make sure you stay tuned for that. Come out and ride with us, dude. Come out to Tower Trash, spend some time with us, hang out with us, ride with us. Say hey, I ain't seen none of y'all a while, but uh, as always, guys, I appreciate y'all and I love y'all, and I'll try to do a content for y'all. Take it easy, old son.